Hello everyone. Okay, welcome back to English class. Okay, in today's class, Mr. Richard is going to have a discussion with you about uh, our pre-review or questions in pre-review. Yeah. So let's get started. So here, uh, there there are four parts that Mr. Richard is. Uh, give you is giving you uh, in our uh, pre review so um, here uh, let's take a look at uh, part one so in here uh, you can see uh, Miss Richard is asking you to look at the picture and write sentence about the pictures uh, using but or instead yeah you can pick between but or instead it's up to you it's, um, uh, let's take a look at the example of how you um, write sentence about the picture. So here is uh, there is a picture where uh, there are three people were talking in a meeting. Um, so the sentence uh, goes like this. Long ago, people talked in the meeting actively, but today... People tend to play phone in the meeting. So, in this sentence, we are comparing uh, to different uh, life, long ago and today. Yeah. So uh, number two, sorry. So this is the example, and let's take a look at number one. So in this picture, there are two children. Uh, we're playing, or they are playing. Um, video games let's say yeah so the sentence go like this long ago um, children played game board but today children play video game yeah so uh, we are comparing yeah so in this uh, question or in this part you need to making a compare uh, a sentence uh, that is comparing uh, life long ago and today okay so that is the example yeah so remember uh, to compare yeah by using but or instead um, next here uh, you need to know the picture so in this picture uh, there is a girl who is uh, turning on the electric light and in this picture there is a girl who is uh, making a call and in this picture there are um, two children uh, two children um, washing uh, plates or this is and the, in this uh, in the next one there is a mom who is doing a uh, show and in the last picture there are two children uh, where they are sitting uh, next to the fire and they are telling story yeah all right so in part two here in part two mr richard is uh asking you to complete the sentence using but or instead um, here so uh, Mr. Richard have put the answer right here actually um, this is uh, a bit simple but you need to be very carefully because uh, sometimes you can get confused um, of uh, both but and or instead yeah how can you use that yeah uh, in part three uh, mr richard is um, asking you to complete uh, sentence two uh, using more uh, and uh, the the words in the parentheses yeah so here um example yeah there's the example here typewriters are more old-fashioned 
than computers. So here you need to add more and the word here, put them together to complete this sentence. Yeah, so um, here you can uh, first you need to know, okay, you need to add more, yeah. And the next, the word that you need to write here is difficult. So it is going to be, I think, chess is more difficult, but it's fun to play, yeah. So next, you need to add more. Or, okay, and mother, yeah, and here, uh, okay, is, you need to add more too, and here the word, uh, important, okay, And, oh, because this is comparison, you can also put band, yeah, here. So, this is going to be more. And also, uh, the sentence is expensive. And then, yeah. All right, and here, okay, the last part or part four, uh, you need to read this text uh, or this paragraph. And also after you finish reading the paragraphs or the text, you need to um, match, yeah, match the answer, yeah, correct answer, by writing the letter in the, or to the blank space, yeah? For example, like this, yeah? For example, the whole, sorry, the hobby horse, the answer is C. You can also answer here by picking the answer from this, yeah? Actually, you can pick your answer from this. So uh, just write the letter, that will be okay. So for example, this one is actually with D. The answer is uh, B, and the answer is A. So, yeah, that's all. Um, Mr. Richard, uh, just giving you the example for this part. So, you can try at home, practice uh, for our uh, second review, yeah? All right, that's all for uh, today. Um, so we just hope that you can uh, learn and understand something from this video. And I will see you again uh, next week. And uh, okay, good luck and goodbye for everyone.